Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Okay, first things first. I did not pay very close attention to the species that Nocta and Bilba were. So, given the recent conversation, I decided to go back and look, and yeah, they are definitely foxes. So, by all accounts, Morgana in her changed form would also be a fox. And yet, she definitely has a feline appearance. It makes me wonder if there's some sort of symbolism there, given Morgana's quasi-adoptive status of becoming the younger sister. Or maybe Morgana is just a fox with a shorter muzzle. Anyway... Now we have Morgana, the Princess Morgana, on the ship with us, and we're really going to a pie shop? Yeah, that muzzle is definitely a little bit shorter than Nocta's and Bilba's. Not just a pie shop, Liko. One rumored to be the most sumptuous in all the land. I didn't realize you had such a sweet tooth. It's not merely about the food, of course. My sister had her eye on this place. Why was that? There were rumors that enchantments were afoot there. Well, what kind of enchantments? The kind which might en 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 engender and get and. That word, unsettling questions. Could you be a little more specific? Oh, come on. It's all about the coins. To be perfectly frank, I didn't really pay much attention to the briefing. My sister was the one who was obsessing over those things, not I. Do you think one of the coin? Do you think the coins are boring? Hardly. It was an issue not of interest, but of motivation. I've never been much for politics. Bibola and Nocta can fight forever as far as I'm concerned. Okay, first stop here. Somebody's going to become fat again. Second thought here. I was talking about how we were waiting on Morgana undergoing a transformation previously. I kind of regret that wish, given the current circumstances. Anyway, I would so like to visit this place, magical coins or not. Oh, that looks so good up there. I want, um, let's see here, I'll take this one, and this one, and, ooh, these are good. So, we got a new character here, probably a very brief character. We've had a lot of brief characters throughout this adventure, but I'll write her, write her name down there. Kate, owner to Kate's Cafe. <laughs> Maddie says, one of everything things. Uh, e bleh. One of everything, please. Welcome to Kate's Cafe, the finest and most sumptuous bakery in all the land. <laughs> Ma Maddie pointed out something kind of funny. The signs in the little barrels just say yum instead of a price. You took the words right out of Morgana's mouth. Excuse me? Nothing, nothing. Seems like a nice place. Not the busy hour I take it. I recently uh, acquired this establishment from another owner. He had much lower prices and much lower quality cuisine. If my high prices keep the riffraff out, well, so much for the better. 
Yeah, these are definitely some high prices. Well, we're not interested in pies. Have you seen this coin before? Of, of course not. You must have me confused with someone else. I'm a baker, not a banker. Are you absolutely positively certain of that? Think carefully before you answer. Especially if you're going to answer so suspiciously. Yes, yes. I don't know anything about any coins. Methinks the lady protests too much. Look, let's just say the coin isn't on the menu, okay? That coin is very important to us. You need to have it and I need to keep it. We all have our needs, don't we? And what do you need it for? I... Uh... It's a memento from my recently departed mentor. You understand, right? Having lost friends on your own journey... I certainly do sympathize. But really, we can't take no for an answer. Well, you've got to start sometime, don't you? Okay, saving here. Both get what we want, or that coin is too dangerous. You know, this option did work out for us once. But in this case, I'm going to attempt to be kind of diplomatic about this. We can both get what we want. Also, I'm kind of curious what this would result in. Do you really want to spend your whole life baking? You've got rare treasures to trade you for that coin. Items so valuable, you'll never have to work another day in your life. Baking has my, been my dream since I was a little girl. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. Yeah, I'm going to go back to the other option, uh, whenever the game gives me the chance. Because I can so relate. I used to work in a bakery, and then the owner died and the bakery shut down. And I so miss it because it was my favorite job in the world. Uh, we'll keep going until the game allows me to change my mind. The truth is, I know why you're so interested. And it's why I won't give my coin up no matter what. That coin is the reason why I'm such a success. Thanks to this coin, I know that one day I'll be able to serve food to the noblest of the noble. Maybe one day even to even the royal family. How fortunate for you, Morgana. Princess Morgana, at your service. No, not... Oh, wow, it really is you! Okay, now I'm suddenly inclined to continue with this branch here. Hello there, Southpaw Fox. Southpaw is asking, how are things going with Morgana? Is she back on our side? Uh... She does not remember her past yet, but she has this side of the old Morgana where she's at least willing to try to remember. So I'm going to continue with this in the hopes that she will eventually remember. Anyway, no, well, it's really you. I would be honored, no, delighted, to help your dream come true. I'll sample whatever you'd like, and if you're as good as you say you are, I'll ask that the palace brings you on full time. In exchange, of course, we will be needing that coin. Of course, of course! Anything for you, my princess. Uh, wait just a minute. Something smells fishy here. All I smell is fresh cherries and warm butter. Now, open wide. Morgana, don't eat that. It could be a trick of some kind. You can never be too careful. Have you all become so paranoid that you'll deprive yourselves of the life's simplest pleasures? 
But maybe... No, oh, please. Can't I at least do one little thing on my own? Oh, this is such a bad idea. But it all seems so genuine. Let's, I'm going to side with Morgana. Liko, there doesn't appear to be another way that doesn't involve violence. Besides, Morgana is right. It's just pie. Go on, try a bite. I mean, I know something is going to happen here. But I don't sense any malicious intent with it. And as Maddie points out, Morgana is willful enough she tried to eat it anyway. Also, thank you for the follow, Sir Paul. I definitely hope you enjoy my future streams. Okay, let's see what happens here. Although I can probably take a guess. It really is the most sumptuous pie in the world. Oh dear me, I must have another. Okay, from this angle, that is definitely a fox muzzle. And here we go. This, this game seems to have a thing for enlargening people, I notice. Like, a lot. Morgana, stop! Look at yourself. I knew something was up. I tried to warn you. Dreadfully sorry, my princess. That just keeps happening. Oh, gosh! Ah. Uh... I'm gonna say that she had more than one of everything. I was right, though. No malicious intent. That just keeps happening. So you're saying this is a recurring problem, but one you never considered mentioning? Well, I thought I got this batch right. It's the coins, Morgana. Become what you seek. So how do I undo this? You can't. Believe me, this isn't the first time something like this has happened. Or the second. Or the third. Well, at least you find it delicious. Could you still put in a good word with me at the palace? I certainly could. But I also just as certainly won't. All right, Liko, grab the coin and let's go. Well, that was fun. I'm so sorry about this. I should have warned you about what the coins are capable of in more detail. It's all right, Mila. At least this time I lost my figure, not my mind. Well, yeah, that's, that is the bright side. That's one way of looking at it. But Morgana, you, you figure has hardly been lost, has it? Just because you are bigger doesn't mean your beauty has been diminished. What do you mean? You know, when I first started my journey, I was just as skinny as you were. So you consumed Enchanted Pie, too? Actually, I just gave you a lot of hugs. You... Gave me hugs? 
I'll confess I sound I like the sound of that, but I'm not entirely sure I understand. I don't completely understand either. My point is, I'm happy with who I am. And some things are a little more difficult now. I do feel hunger pangs a little more often. And I can't quite uh, run quite as fast as I used to. But I also feel a little warmer on a cold night. And I like feeling soft. And I feel more beautiful and content looking in the mirror than I ever did when I was skinny. That's a very lovely sentiment, Mila. Now suppose I really shouldn't feel bad for what happened. The truth is, Mila, nobody forced me to try that pie. Matter of fact, Liko nearly snatched it out of my hands, didn't he? I volunteered it of my own via my own volition. Why did you? Is it just because you were curious what it tasted like? There's definitely a little bit of the old Morgana in there. The situation was dangerous, all the better to prove myself to my crew, to prove myself worthy in this moment. Must they be heedless, injudicious, don't you? You must think me heedless and injudicious, don't you? Why would I think that? Don't insult my intellect. I just compared your dashing heroism, risking life and limb every day, to being brave enough to eat an enchanted pie. If that's the height of my bravery, well, I'll never be anything like the Morgana you once knew. Actually, you're much more like her than you know. I... I am? Her life was about reinvention, too. She lived most of her life as a pirate. The real pirate, not like us. When she was rescued by Darius, she had, she had to learn how to become a totally different person. Then, when her mentor died, she had to learn to become a captain of this crew. She had to gain the trust of people whom she herself distrusted and often mistreated. Thank you, Mila. For what? For helping me remember myself, Mila. The good, the bad, the ugly. For telling me the truth about who I am and who I was. For that, I will always be eternally grateful. <laughs> um. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay, well, first things first, Southpaw is asking, how did Liko and M M Mila escape being hanged? Did Princess Morgana get them spared? Yeah, basically what happened is that Morgana offered to allow and proclaim that Nocta was the true queen in exchange for not only Liko and Mila being set free, but also Morgana getting to go along with them. Now then, um... Oh, how do I want to handle this? On the one hand, right before Morgana got her memory replaced, I did have... 
Mila kiss her, but that was in the hopes of hopefully keeping a piece of Mila with Morgana so that Morgana might be able to remember. That said, I want to go into this menu here. Let me go, not this menu, but we're going to go to this and then we're heading back to the title real quick because I want to show something. Let's head into the gallery. And we have two galleries in here, romances and endings. Endings is self-explanatory, but romances, we do have the option of getting romances during this adventure. And I don't know how many romances there are, because this is not helping me figure that out. But apparently we found our first possible romance. The question is, do I actually want to go for this one? It's not exactly... Uh, Maddie says you did go in for the smoosh, but they kind of strike me as friends more than closer. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of leaning towards. There isn't really a relationship here. This does kind of feel like it comes out of nowhere, hence why I... Uh, found it so funny when it popped up. So for that reason, we'll just go with any time. Okay, let's go ahead and head into our third episode break here. Uh, we're kind of early in the stream. I might do two more episodes here. I'll figure it out after this break. <laughs> 